All right. This is a lesson on the analysis of the accounting equation. So my first transaction, we receive a payment. Receive a payment from Arnel as part payment of his debt to Andrew Issue a receipt. So if we look at our columns, number one, we're issuing a receipt. So therefore my source document is a receipt, my journal, CRJ, because I'm receiving money cash receipt journal. Your source documents for a CRJ would include a receipt, a cash register role in the event of sales, or a bank statement if funds are received electronically. So we are receiving money from a person for his debt. A person that owes the business money is called a debtor. So therefore, when I receive money, I always think of bank. Bank is an asset, which plus on the debit, minus on the credit. Because I'm receiving money, my bank will therefore debit. Because I'm receiving money, I'm getting more money. Bank debit. For the account credit, it's a debtor that pays me. So therefore, account credit is debtor's control. Both of these accounts are assets. With the payment of the bank, I'm receiving money. My asset will plus with 210. The debtor will now owe me less minus 210. Number two. Sold goods on credit. If I sell goods on credit, this is a debtor's journal transaction. My source document for the DJ, the debtor's journal, is an invoice. To be more specific, a duplicate invoice. Because the original is given to the client, to the debtor, and the business keeps the copy, the duplicate. Whenever you have sales, four accounts are influenced. Two accounts works with the selling price and the other two with the cost price. So I'm selling on credit. So therefore I have debtor's control. And sales. For my cost price, it's cost of sales. And trading stock. Data's control is an asset, plus on the debit, minus on the credit. Sales falls under known as equity, it's an income, income always credit. Cost of sales is an owner's equity account, as it is an expense. And trading stock is an asset, plus on the debit, minus on the credit. So working only with my selling price. I'm selling goods, so therefore sales has to credit with the selling price 910. Every debit has a credit. The debtor will owe me more money. Cost of sales and trading stock offerings, they always go together. So, cost of sales and expense on the debit side, 700. Every debit has a credit. I sold stock, therefore I have less stock. When we put it into our accounting equation, I'm going to close the bottom two. So, account debit is debtor's control. Account credit, sales. 
debtors controls an asset plus 910 sales owners equity plus 910 now we deal with my cost price I've got cost of sales debit as the amount is on the debit side so therefore cost of sales is debit can credit trading stock And now I say owner's equity will minus with 700, my cost price, and trading stock and asset minus 700. Number three, issue EFT to river supplies for equipment. So therefore we are buying equipment. Number three, if I buy CPJ, Cash Payments Journal, my source document, EFT, Electronic Funds Transfer. Now again, with a CRJ, CPJ, your one account is always bank. Now I'm paying, so therefore bank has to credit. And what am I paying for? I'm paying for equipment. Equipment is debit. Equipment is an asset, bank is an asset. So with equipment, I'm buying equipment, I have more equipment. So I plus my assets with 3,718. Bank is an asset, I pay, so therefore my asset minus 3,718. Number four, we have sales again, but now cash sales. So it's money that I'm receiving. So cash sales is recorded in the cash receipts journal. My source document, cash register roll. Now, just like credit sales, we have four accounts. But with cash, we replace status control with bank. So I'm first going to deal with my selling price. I'm selling it for cash, so bank will be debit. Sales is an income, income always credit, sales credit. My selling price is 7150 and assets will plus because I receive money by bank increases. Sales is owner's equity, so income plus 7150 Now we deal with the cost price. Cost price always cost of sales and trading stock. Cost of sales debit is an expense. Cost of sales is debit. And trading stock credit. My cost price is 5,500. So now cost of sales is owner's equity. It will minus because it's an expense, 5,500. And trading stock, we sold stock Trading stock is an asset. This asset will minus with 5,500.